I don't want to take up too much of Dr. Al's time, but uh, we're going to go back here and check out some of his key trees I want to show you guys that are working in Mesa and uh, will work for you if you're in the Phoenix area as well. The first thing we see when we head inside the yard here is this uh, the shade canopy above me being created by this avocado tree. And this avocado tree is called an Aravipa, Arizona avocado, which is from Aravipa Canyon. And it looks like Dr. Al himself, he took a Lula, which is a salt tolerant variety of avocado tree, and he grafted right here. You can see where the trees differ in look and appearance and color and shape. So this one is the salt tolerant avocado tree as the rootstock. And then this one right here is the Aravipa avocado that's grafted onto him. And it just has become a monster tree that's five years old. So it's been here for five years. So if you plant one of the Aravipa avocados, which I got mine from Seamus O'Leary, Tropical Fruit Trees, you can expect it to be this size in five years. And he says he gets tons of avocados off this already. And he's even showed us that he's growing the avocados from this Aravipa avocado. And he's making new avocado trees that are grown from seed. That's pretty cool. And lastly, on my tour here of Dr. Al's place is a second of the Aravipa Native Arizona avocados, the Aravipa Canyon avocado tree. This one is enormous. I mean, almost 20 feet tall. This one's only four years old. The trunk is humongous. The trunk is uh, the size of my leg. And he said this guy puts off tons of fruit and he says that the Fruit is about the size of a hoss with a small pit and the flesh is oily so it tastes very, very good. This is a high calorie content but the taste is fantastic. And in four years he planted this one, grafted him at the base and grew it from budwood and he's got this monster incredibly healthy avocado tree. And this kind of stuff, I love seeing it so in reality I'm making a video for you guys but in reality this is a video for me because I get inspired you know and I have motivation to keep going with my edible trees at my house in Tempe because I want to have a 20 foot tall avocado tree and have avocados in my backyard that'd be so great so I hope that you guys are inspired as well don't get overwhelmed take little nuggets of information from these videos and use them to inspire you and educate you to grow better and be a better gardener and hopefully you grow something edible so that you can be a better steward of the earth and help to preserve the genetic diversity of the edible plants that feed us. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you like episodes like this. They're kind of like mini vacations and uh, little field trips. And uh, subscribe to our channel for updates. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to finish my loquat and I'll see you guys back here next time. Mmm.